The latest inflation report gave us exactly what we needed in order to put a September Fed rate cut on the table. The bond market is already reacting and putting mortgage relief in sight. In today's video, we're going to cover all the latest developments and what it means for the housing market in the months ahead. Let's get into it. The Bureau of Labor Statistics recently released their Consumer Price Index Inflation Report and it couldn't have been better. It was so good that Wall Street traders now see a 100% chance of a Fed rate cut in September, attributing this to the latest CPI report. As of June, the CPI increased by 3% compared to the same time last year, down from 3.3% in May. This is the lowest level since June of last year, when it also came in at 3%. CPI inflation has been stubbornly above 3% for the last 12 months, and this report was better than expectations. Major components of the CPI trended exactly as needed for this to happen. The shelter CPI inflation came in at 5.1%, down from 5.4% in May, and the non-shelter portion came in at 1.8%, down from 2.1%. That shelter portion of CPI has been key to watch, as I've noted in previous videos. There is a lag between the shelter CPI and current rent growth seen in other metrics, such as the Zillow Observed Rent Index. You can see here that the shelter CPI is likely to continue its downward trend until it catches up with more current rent growth indicators. That last part is important because it means that as long as we don't see an uptick in the non-shelter portion of CPI, the next report is likely to come in below 3%, make, making the case even more convincing for the Fed to cut rates at that September meeting. We have to remember that the the Fed wants to cut rates. They know if they leave them too high for too long, it will hurt the economy, potentially pushing us into a recession. And we're already seeing a slowdown in job creation and GDP growth. I'll be providing another in-depth update on the economic situation in my next video. We're not facing a recession right now, but there are definite signs of a slowdown. With the inflation numbers we got this month and the likelihood they will be even better next month, the case is very strong for a September rate cut. The Fed's meeting at the end of July remains key to watch. They're not likely to cut rates at that meeting, but we'll want to see a change in their language to prepare markets for a rate cut in September. But we could very well see relief in mortgage rates before then. The bond market is already reacting favor favorably to the latest inflation report. The yield on the 10-year Treasury bond, which the 30-year fixed rate mortgage closely tracks, went from a recent high of 4.48% on July 1st to as low as 4.15% as of July 17th. As a result, we've seen mortgage rates start to come down as well. As of July 18th, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage was at 6.77%, according to Freddie Mac. If we were to get a notable change in the Fed's language after the end of their July meeting, the 10-year Treasury yield is likely to head even lower and will take mortgage rates lower as well. Home prices are at record highs, and with supply still tight, it's going to take mortgage rates coming down to provide relief to buyers and sellers looking to move but are holding on to a 3% mortgage rate they locked in before rates went up. This is what we need to see an increase in real estate activity and unfreeze the market. I'll provide another update after the Fed's July meeting as well as after the next CPI report released in August. So if you want to stay up to date on all the developments moving forward, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell down below so you won't miss my next video when it comes out. And if you can do me a favor and hit that like button, it would be greatly appreciated to help the channel grow. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.